we will take a quick look at how you can integrate message box viewer with bistock 360 the first step you need to do is go to the settings tab and you will see a new section called message box viewer configure message box viewer integration and as soon as you as the screen is loaded you can see the options are straightforward the first thing you need to do is specify the directory where message box viewer is extracted and the next step is you can schedule executions for different environments so this drop down box will show you all the environments configured with this instance of Bistock 360 so you choose the environment for which you want to run the message box viewer and then you select the days when you want to execute it and the timings when you want to execute it it's recommended by Microsoft from one of our recent engagements it's advisable to run the message box viewer at least once a day in your quiet time so that you get a daily report and then you can proactively look into any issues that comes from your environment once you are happy with the schedule you can click on the save button to save the configuration so from integration perspective between Bistock 360 and message box viewer so that's all required to make the integration work so let, let's close the the settings tab the Bistock 360 monitoring service at the background will periodically check for any scheduled executions of message box viewer and it will execute it accordingly once after the successful execution of the message box viewer the reports will be available to view right in the ui so you can see on the left hand side navigation menu there is a new link called message box viewer report so you click on the report and then you can see the reports available for you to view so the message box viewer report is classified into four in separate sections as shown here so you at the top you got all the critical errors where immediate attention is required and the next section is the non-critical errors some of the errors are good to fix uh, fix it as soon as possible and it also got a uh, header sec header information with details about uh, certain execution settings and it also got a summary report at the at the bottom the important thing is to look into the, the critical errors where it shows you all the critical errors that's identified in this particular environment so it's important to take immediate actions and try to keep this uh, immediate attention items as low as possible